Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is Walsh law. Walsh law is a very interesting topic. It says about the bone trajectories based on the functional forces, the changes in trabecular arrangement of the bone based on the forces. So before that we need to understand what is a bone and what is a trajectorial theory. Then we'll move to the Wall's law. So let's see what is inside Wall's law. So Wall's law should be go in accordance with the bone and trajectorial theory. Then only we'll understand the concept of Wall's law. First we will see what is bone, we know that there has two parts of bone and one is the outer and very thicker part which is known as compact bone and the other part is cancellous bone which is inside of a bone which is a very spongy and it has a meshwork of trabeculae. So cancellous bone and compact bone. So the next thing is trajectorial theory. So trajectorial theory is by uh, a scientist Mayer. It says that the line of orientation of the bony trabeculae follow the pathway of maximal pressure and tension. So I have drawn a picture of a bone and you can see these lines, the dark lines. These are the bony trabeculae line of orientation also we can say that trabecular arrangement so the load is happening here and maximum tension and pressure on both sides so there is a lot of stress happening here so trajectorial theory says the line of orientation of the bony trabeculae follow the pathway of maximal pressure and tension so this is the pathway where is the maximal pressure and tension is happening because of the load here so there is maximal pressure and tension so the bony trabeculae follows this pathway so maximal pressure and tension pathway so when there is maximum stress there will be thicker trabeculae so thicker trabeculae is found in areas of maximal stress so the alignment of trabeculae in spongy bone follow the trabecular line like a mechanical structure so it follows just like a mechanical structure Okay, when there is force, there is change in this direction, the bony trabecular direction, it goes with maximal pressure and tension. So these trabecular lines are lines of maximal stress within the bone. Okay, so these are the lines, trabecular lines. These are the lines of maximal stress. Okay, so we can see that maximal stress. And these trajectories crossed at right angle to resist the manifold stress on the bone. So you can see it is not very clear but you can see these trajectories cross each other at 90 degree. You can see the 90 degree. Why it is so? Because it can resist manifold stress on the bone. So it can resist stress on bone. So this is what trajectorial theory says that is the line of orientation it is following the maximal pressure and tension and these are the lines of maximal stress within the bone and this alignment follow a maximum uh, stress just like a mechanical structure now we'll move on to the wall slow i hope you understood what is a, the tra trabecular line and the stress and other concept so wall slow is just an extension of this trajectorial theory is just explaining the reason for this maximal stress and tension. So, Wall's law was given by Julius Wolf in 1870. So, what he was saying, the reason for arrangement of trabecular pattern. So, the reason for arrangement of trabecular pattern is functional forces. So, trabecular arrangement is due to functional forces. That is what Wall's law is emphasizing on. So Wall's law of transformation of bone is the change in direction or magnitude of force 
could produce change in internal structure and external form of that particular bone that is Wolff's law of transformation of bone that is the functional forces the forces happening in the body that is the functional forces if we change that functional force in direction or magnitude it can result in change in the internal structure and the external form of that particular body so that is the Wolff's law it is nothing but the uh, explanation of this trajectorial theory because trajectorial theory is not mentioning about the functional forces so if there is increased function the bone is having more density or wherever the function is high the bone will produce more density because it has to withstand that particular maximum load and if the function is decreased or minimal function the, de the density also will eventually or automatically decreases so the stress of tension or pressure will result in change in bone that is a simple theory that is if there is stress of tension or pressure the bone will be changed because it has effect on the internal structure and external form so that is uh, all about Wolff's law it is connected with trajectorial theory so it is emphasizing on the functional forces and how functional force could change the internal structure and external form so let's wind up this wall slow we have seen uh, bone trajectorial theory and the details so i'll come up with a new topic uh, in my next video if you have any doubts please uh, mention in the comment box or any more videos you would like to have lectures on please mention that too thank you